guys, it's Coffee, and today I'm extremely excited because I am showing off my current household. I have played a little bit of this on Twitch with you guys. If you follow me there, I'm at Coffee Twitch if you don't. Um, and basically, I really wanted to dive into the family aspect of the game. So that was kind of what I ended up creating here because, you know, we got toddlers and all this last week, and I haven't really played a, I would say like a family based game except for 100 Baby Challenge in a really long time. So before we dive in and I tell you all about my current household, I kind of just wanted to show them off. This is not a series. This is just me sharing with you, if you don't come to Twitch, what I've been up to in my spare time. But um, first and foremost, I want to share the positive comment. And today's comment comes from Bill Cipher. And it says, or his comment says, don't let anyone make you feel like garbage. And that's a quote from Amethyst from Stevie Universe. I'm a big Stevie Universe fan. So I really liked that. And you guys know that I love to say the word garbage. So <laughs> um, thank you so much, Bill, for that quote. I really appreciate it. Oh my gosh, whose phone is ringing? Stop it. Sorry, end game. But um, thank you so much. If you guys don't know about the positive quote, please leave positivity down below and I may few feature your comment in a future video. But let's go ahead and dive in. So I decided to set my little family in Willow Creek because to me, there is no better family community than the community of Willow Creek. It seems extremely family oriented, very suburban and very just like a calm, mellow place for a family to settle down. You know, not not anything like the city life or living out in the desert or um, I didn't want to do Newcrest because Newcrest uh, doesn't really speak to me, especially when it's not filled. And I didn't want to spend a lot of time creating a new area because I've got Vampire Heights I'm already doing. And I really just wanted to play the game. I just wanted to get to it. So um, I created two characters and the first character is Carter Swan. And let me go ahead and put these walls down here first for you guys. Carter Swan looks a little something like this. This is Carter Swan. Um, I actually got him off the gallery, I believe. I did not create him, but I did rename him. Um, he's absolutely adorable, super cutie pants. And uh, he wants, let's go ahead and take a look-see here. He's a geek, he's outgoing, he's family oriented and domestic. And Carter Swan really wants, where does it? Where does it tell me what he wants? I'm trying to remember. Oh, dirt da dirt. Um, he wants to have a big happy family, which I've never played a series aside from, I think, Hunter Baby Challenge where somebody had that kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Aspiration. So that was really exciting to me. And um, then we have Carter's wife, who I did not have them married initially. They were just roommates in this house that they shared together. Um, they, my story behind it was they were both in college and both seeking a roommate. Um, technically, uh, Carter was seeking a roommate. And as it turned out, Miss Nicole Shepard, or now she's Swan because they're married, also needed a place to live to go to school. So um, she found his ad in the paper and the rest is pretty much history. They met, were roommates for a little bit, slowly fell in love, and uh, now they're married. And um, Nicole actually decided to stop school and stop working and just be a stay at home mother when she got pregnant with their daughter, Caroline. And that's, again, this isn't me saying like women have to do that or women should be housewives. Like if you want to be a housewife and you're happy, you do you. If you don't want to do that, don't do it. This is not me like trying to be non-feminist. I'm extremely feminist, but I really just wanted to play with like the traditional American dream type family. So that's what I decided to create. Um, I myself, IRL, like don't even really know if I want kids. This is like so not me. But um, anyways, this is the house they live in. I've, I've redone some things. I redid the bathroom. Um, I took out what was here and added some desks because they needed them. Um, also, I forgot to mention that Carter is a field agent and he's actually missing work right now. They just had a baby though, so I don't really blame him. Like literally, they just got home from the hospital. Um, but Carter's a field agent, which I believe is tier three. What tier is that for work? I don't even know. Let's let's make him go to work. Um, he's, I believe, in tier three of his work, which is really awesome. And uh, Nicole, Nicole originally was, what did I have her going to work as? I don't even remember. I think she was like a writer or she does writing now, but she was like an artist or something. And now she's a stay-at-home mommy and we haven't even done the nursery. Like that's how fresh this baby is. I didn't want to do the nursery until I knew if it was a boy or a girl. And this is Caroline Swan. 
And usually when I play The Sims, I'm so like, we're not having kids for a long time, blah, blah, blah. Like kids complicate everything. It's like sounds so much like me. And not that I have anything against kids. I love kids. I think they're amazing. I love hanging out with my siblings, kids, my, ne my nieces and nephews. But for me personally, I think... I just, I'm a little up in the air about kids. So I think I play the game a lot similarly, but with this family, I wanted them to have like a ton of kids and I think I want them to have like six kids and, um, I don't know, like I might give you guys updates on this one periodically. Maybe I'll do like a nursery build for you guys, but I just wanted to show you what I've been doing in my spare time. And I also do apologize guys. I am putting up a lot of shorter videos this week because, um, I'm, I'm prepping for the vampire game pack and I'm prepping for vampire heights and I'm doing so much with my time right now. I needed to get a lot of videos out. So I figured some content was better than none. And this was something that I genuinely wanted to share with you guys. So definitely follow me on Twitch. If you guys don't already, I do a lot of fun stuff like this. Like you guys have watched me build. You have watched me play through this household a little bit. Um, you guys sometimes get to influence my decisions when I play and I feel like I just haven't done a curtain household in so long that it's like clinky AF. Like, I don't even know what to say. I feel nervous right now. Um, I don't even know, like, how to word what I've been doing. <laughs> but anyways, that's kind of what I've been up to. Let me know down below what you guys have been up to. Tell me how the toddlers are for you, what you think of them, if you absolutely adore them. And um, I will see you guys in a future video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm at CoffeeYT and over on Twitch where my name is Coffee Twitch. This is Coffee signing off. Bye, you guys.